Hi guys, this is Energy Major, or Eli, from Breadcrumb Incorporated, and today we're going to look at MC Edit. So, um, these are just the very, very basics. So, like how to move and highlight stuff. So, first, when you open the program, you want to click Load World, and these are all your Minecraft worlds. Click on the world you want to edit, and it'll spawn you where your player, your, where your player is currently in the game. So this is the icon for your player, and this is the icon for where your player will spawn. This is the player spawner, and um, it doesn't really appear in the game, but it's just it's an invisible entity kind of thing. So here's your player. Um, to move around, you're probably freaking out because you start and you can't look around. You can go forward, backward, side ways sideways um i mean left right yeah you know what i'm talking about but you can't look around so there's a simple solution to this it's called right clicking so when you right click you'll get this little cube thing in front of you and you'll be able to look around but another problem you can't go up and down space and shift don't work the controls for this instead are q to go up and Z to go down. So it's a little bit different. It'll be really hard to get used to at first, and the speed you go at is really hard to get used to, but you can get used to it. It just takes a while. So, first off, I'm going to show you the highlighting tool. This is just the tool down here, selecting tool, and it's really hard to see because of the sandstone, but the box, you just go to an area and drag and <coughs> <coughs> oh sorry and you've made this giant area so um it doesn't have anything in it currently it's just a highlighted area so you can click fill and replace and go to any item you want let's do glass cuz that's that looks nice click okay fill and it will fill that area with glass so yeah that's pretty simple and to put all this glass down in creative or survival in normal minecraft would take about 10 to 15 minutes that is a waste of time just to get all this glass down so um it's not hollow glass or anything but if you wanted to make it a building all you'd have to do, the area is still highlighted, so as you can see there's a blue cube here that's highlighted, and on the other side, oops, that was really far, over here there's a yellow cube. So these nudge buttons down here are what we're going to be using. You can click nudge, and well click and hold nudge, and then pull it back, and it moves that blue square over here back a little bit. And then click D or right, it moves it in a little bit. And then the yellow square, you click forward and left, and there you go. It just highlighted the area inside this first layer. So when we do that, when we um, come over here and click delete blocks, it'll delete all those blocks, and you have a hollow glass area. Let me click deselect. You have a hollow glass area that you could but make into a room whatever you wanted so yeah this is a really useful tool these are just the basics I'll hope to be getting into more videos about this like all the filters and the filter tool and moving your spawner and changing entities and stuff but that's for later so hope you like this video like comment favorite subscribe do whatever just love this video absorb it into your heart and soul and bye